I, I I like mentioning NixOS because people have asked me to do a NixOS video four years probably, <laughs> and I've never done it. Oh, I have an ongoing feud with the the Nix. So it's not really a feud, really. Just there's a whole bunch of Nix users in my Discord server, mm -hmm. and they're all awesome people. Like, like I'm doing a, a long term review of Nix right now. I have it on the computer that's behind me on my standing desk, and on a separate hard drive and on a laptop. Mm -hmm. And it, it's. It's a, it's a fine distro. It does literally everything different than a traditional Linux distro. So I have this thing. I, I posted a short of me and Tyler on the podcast talking, and I made this comment, NixOS is not a Linux distro. I did see that. And yes. now everybody in my distro, in my Discord that uses Nix has changed their name to NixOS is not a distro just to troll me. So I've been trolling them back. So every time I mention NixOS, I just ha I have to mention that it's not a Linux distro, even though it technically is a Linux distro. But it does... Have have you actually have you, have you spent any time with NixOS? My entire understanding is packages are installed through like configs or something, and like you have you can be like very specific about the versions of dependencies you need, and like they're separate from other dependencies. I, that's as much as I know. Okay, so just as a broad overview. Yes, everything is managed via config file, and it's cool that it's managed via config file. They're very proud that it's managed via config file. Like, you talk to an X user, they have to mention their Nix config somewhere in the conversation, but that's beside the point. The thing that's really weird about Nix is that they do everything, like I said, they do everything differently. So if you if you want to find a path, like a traditional Linux path, you could name five of them for me right now. You dot slash bin, slash user local bin, dot local, slash bin, all those things. None of those things on Nix ex actually exist. They're not there. There's not a there's not a slash user folder in the root directory of a Nix OS install. It just doesn't exist. Slash Etsy, not actually there. None of those things. If you uh, go to the slash, there's nothing there other than your home your your user directory. Uh -huh. Or not your user directory, your home directory. They do those files do exist. They're just in the Nix OS store directory, which is somewhere else. Right. And that's where they all look. Now, I don't know the technical details behind how they've made this work or why they made this decision. But the reason why I'm always on that Linux, that it's not a traditional Linux, you know, distro is because of that type of thing. That those files that you'd expect to be in the root directory just aren't there. Your paths are all different. And they're almost universally controlled by Nix itself. Mm -hmm. So it, any of the paths that you want. So if you want to put a script inside of the path you would put it in a entirely different place than you would on a traditional Linux distro. Or, <laughs> this is where it gets even more complicated, you use something like Home Manager to manage those scripts, which is uh, an entirely different can of words that I still don't understand to this day. Uh, Tyler's tried to explain to me Home Manager. There's several people who tried to explain it to me. I still don't really understand it. And then you have Flakes, which are an entirely different thing. It's a very... It feels like whoever came up with Nix was like, you know what? I like Linux. Let's change everything about it except for the kernel and do it that way. And uh, if that's the way that you want to do things, I, I okay. But mm -hmm. in my few months of actually using it, it's by far, like, I would rather, I, I would say that Gen 2 is actually a more user-friendly <laughs> distro than Nix is. And I know it sounds hilarious, but I think that it's actually true because, yes, Gen 2 is by far harder to install than Nixus. Because Nix, you can just use a Calamari's installer and it's fine. It's, it's installed. Sure. But when it comes to actually maintaining the distro, I think Gen 2 is actually more user-friendly. Now, it's not, that's not to say that it's user-friendly at all. It's just more user friendly than the Nick stuff is because not only do they do everything differently, but their documentation is so bad. <laughs> like it's, it, it just, it, it, uh, here's another comparison. I think that the suckless guys do documentation better than Nick's OS does. And you know, the suckless guys, they don't do documentation at all. Mm -hmm. So that that's not a competition that they'd even be playing with. And yet they do documentation better than the Nix guys do. And I'm sure there's plenty of fantastic developers behind the Nix project. In fact, I know that there are, uh, but they, their, their community needs to get on their, like we all, we all proclaim loud and proud that the arch wiki is the best thing about arch. The, 
Nick's wiki or whatever they call it is the worst thing about Nick's OS. Mm -hmm. It's really, really bad. Um, and um, because of all of these hot takes that I have, because Nick's OS has become the new thing, right? I, I, I said this in the Discord the other day that uh, the Linux community goes through fads just like any other community. Um, we see this in, um, again, this is my third mention of Unix porn. I, I feel like every time I come on your podcast, I mention Unix porn more than anybody else. Um, but we went through the uh, Unix porn a lot of time for a long time. It was, I three was the window manager that everybody used. Then mm -hmm. it was BSPWM and then it was Hyperland. Right now it seems to be Hyperland. You know, we'll go through this over and over again. We do the same thing with distros for, uh, for the longest time. It was arch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we, we all know the memes arch Linux, by the way, I use it, you know? Um, but that's gone away. Um, it's no longer cool to use Arch because it has an it has an install script. Goodness gracious, if it was if it it was fine when it was hard to install, but now if you have an install script, I hate people who complained about the install script because they don't actually know the history of Arch. It literally had an install script when it first started. They deleted the install script. <laughs> well, because it wasn't cool with an install script, Brody. You have to know this. If in order to no, be cool, you have work. to do things. Well, you have to you have to be edgy and and <laughs> with it, uh, and, and the way you do that is by by doing things the hard way. Sure. Um, but the the thing now is Nix OS, mm -hmm. and I, um, several people of my in my Discord have have mentioned that it, it feels like people have just used it because it started to become popular. I don't know if that's uh, uh, it's hard to I mean, it's like people started using Arch because it was popular, mm -hmm. but Arch Linux is a good Linux distribution. Mm -hmm. Nix OS is also a good Linux distribution, so saying people just use it because it's popular feels wrong. I thought you were going to say Nix OS isn't a good distribution. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to live and still have a, a YouTube channel, and I won't say that because they would literally come at me with pitchforks. Um, but it feels wrong to say that, but it's absolutely true that a lot of people gravitated towards Nix OS and Arch because it was popular. And mm -hmm. That it's a good distro is probably a bonus for those people because it'd be it wouldn't be popular if it was a bad distro. So I, I guess there's a, that way of looking at it. But mm -hmm. for for I so I was a distro hopper for a very long time. You 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 only distro hop in April Fools. I don't know why that happens. Like every year he he says it. Oh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna stop using Arch. All of a sudden, he's, like, what was this last? I'm year gonna to... I'll tell you about my plan this year because I got a fun one for this time. <laughs> oh, I hate April Fools, but I'm I'm gonna be glad to hear it. Um, but anyways, you're not a distro hopper, at least not anymore. I don't know if you were previously, but I've I've been a distro hopper since I started using Linux in 2017. But this. <laughs> Last July, I decided I was going to stop distro hopping, and I've challenged myself to use the same distro for two years. I chose OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, and this is how it's going to relate to the next conversation, because it was off the beaten path. Right. I didn't want to use a popular distro because, I mean, that would have not made it a challenge. I wanted to use something that was, you know, not something that everybody used, and Tumbleweed has fit that thing and it's so good that i have a sticker i'm not going to move the microphone to ruin your audio but i have a sticker on my microphone that says open susa so i become an open susa fanboy but that was just kind of a after effect i chose it because it was off the beaten path a lot of people ask me why didn't you choose nix well first off i didn't know anything about nix when i made the decision but also mm -hmm. everybody and their brother uses nix now mm -hmm. and i didn't want to be just another I'm honestly surprised that there aren't more YouTubers out there that use Nix, to be honest with you, because a, a lot of the Linux YouTubers do tend to follow the the, the crowd, because it gets a lot, like, Fedora did this for a while, like, a couple of years ago, when Fedora was, like, the hot shit, you know? Um, and, and, like, the best way to get views on YouTube was to follow that along, and if, I, you know, I made a, a Fedora video, like, three times a week, and <laughs> each one of those things blew up. You know, and it, it didn't matter. But then eventually, people got sick of hearing about Fedora. You know, and I, I, that's what, like, I knew that eventually, Nix was just going to become a thing that everybody was okay with, and you, and you couldn't make content on that over and over again without, you know, just fatigue setting in. Mm -hmm. I've just been happy over here chilling on Arch. I just, I'm just, I'm just chilling. If look, if I See, need to try out Nix stuff, I can. I can, like, maybe do it, but like, it'll happen at some point. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but 
Well, I don't know. I, if I was going to try out Nyx, I would have to do it on a separate system. I'm not going to do it on my main system. That's just not going to happen.